hello wonderful people you're yeah, welcome back to our channel if this is your first time coming across our channel please do all to subscribe turn on the bell notification and like the video and also if you're watching our video on facebook do all to follow our facebook page so in this video i want to be talking about mench disease so this particular rabbit here a friend complained to me that his rabbit had mench disease so i told him to buy ivermectin but since he's a small farmer he's just starting up so we agreed that he's going to bring it to me so I told him I'm going to treat the rabbit. So I want to be showing you guys how I go about this. So you can just come closer so we show them. So when your rabbit have meant this, this is exactly what you are going to see. In the mouth of the rabbit, you notice a stuff like this. Or in the ear. As you can see, if you touch this place, it's very, very hard. This place is very, very hard. Yes. So that's meant this. Is. And also if you if you look at the rabbit feet, you'll notice the mend is also affecting it on the feet, kind of. Don't know if you guys can really see it from the video. The mend is really affecting the rabbit on the feet. Yes, as you guys can see. So this is basically what mend disease does. It sometimes you notice even on the ear. Sometimes you notice even on the ear. This is the nose of the rabbit. Sometimes you notice even on the ear, it starts giving the rabbit like a rust on the ear here. Yes. So I'm I'm going to be showing you guys the easiest way to treat this mend disease. Mend disease ear canker. It's almost the same way you, you go about the treatment. The treatment is very, very easy. So all you need is ivermectin. This is ivermectin injectable. Your rabbit has um, mench disease. Your rabbit has ear canker. You use ivermectin injectable injection. Yes, that's what you use for your rabbit. So um, let's say for instance, your rabbit has ear canker. Ear canker is like a disease that comes on the ear, just like this mench, but that one is inside. A lot of people do give advice that you use red oil or black oil, yes, all that works. But one thing I want to tell you guys is that if you are trying to cure ear canker, don't peel it. Like, don't try to peel off the rust on the ear. You just easily inject the rabbit one I'm going to be showing you now. And you'll see it within one to two weeks, the rabbit will get better. If it does not get better, you can inject again after 14 days. Ivermectin has been injected once in 14 days. Yes, that's how Ivermectin works. So this is the ivermectin. This is how it is. Then this is my string. I'm going to be pulling out because this particular one, the um, the case is severe because I can even see on the ear and some of on the legs. Um, the disease is coming there too. So the stuff is a bit severe. So we are going to be um injecting the rabbit 0 0.5 0 0.5 mil of this ivermectin so basically this um, drug, um injection is if you if you put it in this way and once you remove your injection nothing drops out it seals automatically so you just put in your shrinks here i think a bottle of this is sold for about three thousand right now so you put in your shrinks here then you pull out um what i'm going to be pulling out is 0 0.5 mil 0 0.5 mil yeah you see a space between the middle between zero, uh, zero and one mil. That's zero point five. So, when your rabbit have mens disease, you inject it on the back. Some of the disease when your rabbit have you inject it on the thigh, but mens disease ear canker, you inject it on the back. It works for the whole body. Yes, once in two weeks. If you do not get better, you inject it again after two weeks. So we are going to be injecting. You do as if you like. You hold the rabbit back this way. You hold it back this way like to make the four come up and you just easily put in your needle there when once you notice your needle goes through you see the rabbit will have somehow like a shake then you push the drop in and just tap it that's just basically all what you need to do so if you are watching this video on facebook do well to follow our facebook page at african rabbit farmer also you can go and check us out on youtube we post mostly of our videos on youtube go and search for african rabbit farmers on youtube and you'll see our channel there you want to subscribe, like this video, share this video to your friends who, who are also rabbit farmers so they can get aware of this. Thank you guys once again and do have a nice day. And until next time, as I always say, peace.